Hey Michael, can I borrow the car? I gotta go pick up a bride. There are so many things wrong with that sentence. What do you mean? First of all, you don't have a broad. I've still to see the day where a young woman would be stupid enough to be together with you. Secondly, you don't even have a driver's license. Why the fuck would I borrow you my car? Ah, this old details, man. Come to think of it, you sound different. And you look awful. Did another girl break your little faggoty heart? Hey, we've been doing this show for well over two fucking years now, okay? We're adults now. We can't use that type of language anymore, you fucking moron. It's so hurtful to so many people. Wow, I didn't know Tumblr had gotten you like that, man. I mean, I remember we did an episode about Tumblr, but I thought it was all for fun. Also, aren't we supposed to not talk about the show on the show? Doesn't that break the illusion? I guess so. Hey, I have a question. Why do you guys still have those ridiculous accents? I don't fucking know. I don't write the show. He does. Go away! What the hell is going- I- I don't- I don't know anymore. I mean, even this part. Why would he write in a joke that makes him look like a fucking weirdo? And why would he write this line for me to say? It's like Inception, man. But anyways, Michael, we're getting off track. Get back to the original storyline. Right, right, right. Well, Bill, for your information, I'm incredibly under the weather right now. Whoa, that sounds... out of character? Sounds like something John would say, to be honest. Okay, I mean sick. I mean, like, why would your character even say that? I mean sick! Fucking hell. That's another thing I don't understand. Like, why do we have to swear so much on the show? I don't fucking know. Hey, what's the point of this video? I don't know. Let me read the script. Hmm. Alright, I think I know. It's like a sickness day special or something? Right, right, right. So anyways, Bill, I'm still incredibly sick, so I would appreciate it if you would get the fuck out of here, or at least bring me some soup or tea or something. Oops, I heard tea. That's John's department. John, could you come in here? What did he say to you? We were just talking about how you were laying in here like a little whiny cunt just because you caught a normal cold. It's the flu, thank you very much. And you don't seem to remember how much both you and Bill bitch once you're sick. I don't know about the redneck, but I certainly do not. I was raised in London with better manners. And if I do, it's because I'm seriously ill. Are you guys ever gonna let that shit go? It's obvious we've had the same upbringing. Besides, it was revealed in the short film that you're all my clones anyway. Look, Michael, I don't wanna pressy you anything, but we, we gotta wrap up soon. I mean, I'm just saying that We've got to get to the point if there is any. You're right. The point of this video is that it's been proven that men are harder hit than women when they're sick. According to an article in the Daily Mail, due to estrogen, the female hormone, it's been proven that females are not hit as hard as men when they're sick. And the point is that it clears up the age-old question of why men bitch more than women when they're sick. At least I think that's what the point of this video is. I think our creator was very high on painkillers when he wrote this. Well, I'm glad we got that cleared up. I'm gonna go make you some tea, man. Thanks, man. What are you doing, Eugene? Why you just really wanted to be part of this episode? Alright, well, I'm going back to sleep. Wake me up when I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, good night, folks. I am not in danger. I am the danger. A guy opens his front door and gets shot, and you think that of me? No. I am the one who knocks. What the fuck, Bill?